the, the new idea that, um, I, I don't know if any course does this anywhere, not just for seminarians, um, was to turn this into a publishing effort. Um, on the internet now, anybody can publish anything, um, but the idea I had was to work with uh, the Institute for the Theological Encounter with Science and Faith. It's called iTest. And we are going to build a website um, and we are going to utilize the, um, the professionals at iTest, the scientists and the theologians, and also other theologians at Holy Apostles to help the seminarians who are reading scientific papers for the first time, maybe, um, and interpreting them in the light of faith and producing essays to communicate to the laity. We're going to help them if they want to, to prepare their essays for publication on the site. So it, it won't be like a blog. Um, it also won't be like a scholarly publication. It'll be something in between. It'll be something of substance, but something that communicates to the, to the general public be they Catholic or not Catholic, or anyone who's interested. We're, we're, the goal is to kind of take it out to the cyberspace world and show them how it's done. The aspect of the course that I'm most excited about is actually the first part of the course, which is going to be uh, co-taught by scientists. So we have Dr. Don Froelich from the University of St. Thomas in Houston, who's an evolutionary biologist, coming into lecture. We have Father Nicanor Ostriaco, who's a Dominican priest with doctorates in theology and also biology. He's into what's called systems biology, which is a new frontier in biology. We also have, fa uh, not Father, Dr. Matt Rossano, who is an evolutionary psychologist from Southeastern Louisiana University. And they'll be coming in and basically team teaching the first part of the course. I think these courses will help greatly in transmitting scientific material to the laity, but from persons of faith, because oftentimes there's a popular misconception that science and faith are not compatible at all. And yet, in our specific course, we will have seminarians do practice homilies, so making use of images from the world of the hard sciences in their homilies, and we'll have the laity evaluating them to see how effective they were in communicating truths, because scientific Research seeks to find and discover the truth, as does the world of faith. But for us, the, the truth is actually a person. And so science and faith don't really contradict one another, but they seek to approach the truth. And so one form of this is communicating through the use of homilies. We might ask seminarians to also make use of modern media, YouTube clips and things like that, make videos, which can be a new way of engaging a younger generation. Still, just as Grade school students this time of year have to have their science fair projects. So too, we might ask our seminarians to come up with poster board presentations, or when a local high school has its science fair, to coordinate with the high school uh, science teachers to have their own presentations, uh, so that the laity also see that the church, the institutional church and its members uh, is actually engaged with the hard sciences. Uh, so we really have a, a long way to go, and yet in an increasingly scientific world, I think if our young uh, priests, our future priests, can be well-versed uh, in the hard sciences and in the language of the sciences, that can be a way of engaging people, not only who are already deeply involved with their parishes, but who have fallen away, but maybe see science as th their Bible, and to begin a lo larger discussion with them. I think that's one of the things the Course in general wants to uh, cultivate is a greater dialogue in society rather than people simply shouting past one another to have a, a civilized uh, discussion through a common and shared experience. I think this is one of the things that sometimes people think, oh, the priest doesn't really relate to me very much, or a scientist is in his own scientific world looking always at the telescope rather than engaging uh, with people. And I think the common experience of wonder and awe at something truly beautiful uh, that someone encounters in faith is also the same experience that a scientist has when he or she makes a discovery wonder and awe at the whole process. And maybe our shared experience of wonder and awe at what is truly good and beautiful might be a common point for dialogue. 
And that's really what I hope this whole project brings about is greater dialogue between faith and science, greater dialogue between the laity uh, and the clergy uh, as we approach the truth and then experience the joy and wonder that the wise men who use science to find the child had upon discovering the truth. The title of my course is, What Does Science Prove? Um, we're going to be looking at topics at the intersection of science and religion. So pitting theological claims against scientific or pseudo-scientific claims and trying to resolve some of the dilemmas um, that come up. What am I most excited about uh, with respect to the course? Um, I'd have to say it's, it's simply working with the students, journeying with them to discover truth. And these are seminarians, so we're, I'm able to say we're discovering truth with a capital T. Um, the truths of science, the truths of religion are not contradictory because truth is, truth is singular. Truth is a person, uh, Jesus Christ. Um, <clears throat> again, uh, like I said, I'm working with with seminarians uh, in, in the class. And these are men who are in formation for the Catholic priesthood. They are probably more than any of us going to have an opportunity to uh, participate in the new evangelization by preaching, speaking to the people in the pews. And so um, something that I'm excited about and something that we're able to do together is increase scientific literacy. Um, by really seriously engaging the claims of science. Um, to this end, one of the activities that I'm looking forward to in the class, and that will be sort of a first pass at uh, the new evangelization, is um, writing, this, by the end of the semester, the students will write an op-ed style essay. And um, of course, after a series of revisions, um, this essay, the topic of which is science and religion or a special topic um, that pertains to science and religion, um, they will be able to publish this as a bulletin insert um, at their local parish as an attempt to engage the people um, where they are and increase scientific literacy at the parish level. Mm -hmm.